The human body is a wonder of the natural world. An intricate network of blood vessels keeps it going. Without these, human life wouldn't be possible. Today, with a team of medical experts, we will explore the amazing world of blood vessels. Though advances in medical science mean that it is possible to recover from serious vascular illness, prevention is far better than cure. Hopefully, by the end of this journey, we will all have a new perspective on the amazing velvet vessels on which our precious lives depend, and how to keep them in good working order. Seventy-five percent of our human body is made up of fluids. Therefore, the network of blood vessels is one of the most important structures in the human body. Blood vessels extend throughout the entire body. If these vessels were stretched out, they would extend for 100,000 kilometers, long enough to go around the world 2.5 times. These channels allow all the essential nutrients our body needs to get to where they are needed. Ironically, though these vessels keep us alive, they can also be the very thing that causes us to die. In Peking University Shogang Hospital Vascular Medicine Department, there's a team of medical experts who are researching the blood vessels of the human body. Wang Hong Yu and his team are leading this research. Alongside their normal medical practice, they are also searching into the mystery of blood vessels. According to Wang, good management of our vascular health can prevent or delay vascular disease. Why 因此,解决这样一个大的问题,我想最重要的一个措施就是血管病的早期预警,血管病的早期逆转,血管健康的终生的管理。We need to take a systematic approach to making sure the vascular system is functioning as it should. Apart from prevention of cardiovascular disease, good management of vascular health can also alert us to any premature arteriosclerosis or minor blockages. Nevertheless, in the event of severe abnormality and disease, medical intervention, including surgery, is necessary. As the director of the vascular surgery department, Chuan Wu Hospital, Gu Yongchan has had many years of experience in the treatment and diagnosis of vascular diseases. His deep experience has brought him face to face with the suffering faced by his patients. Gu is experienced in applying the cutting edge surgical techniques needed to treat them. Tirosiatrada,动脉的,几点,他可以引起几只,身子可以引起死亡,震脏的动脉,出现了严重的指向在,如果你不治疗,才可以引起全身的高血压,静脉几病呢,才可以引起静脉的肿脏,回流受到障
Thus, in vascular terms, almost everyone is different. But in order to prevent vascular problems and diagnose problems at an early stage and to develop the cutting edge technology necessary to deal with serious problems, a thorough understanding of the vascular system is required. Using an infrared thermal imager, we can see the heat produced by a shy and blushing girl. Being in love raises the temperature of the girl's face. Her face turns red precisely because the blood capillaries underneath the skin are working harder. The capillary walls are made up of a very different layer of endothelial cells. This cell layer is sufficient for red blood cells to permeate only when the blood cells are stacked together in a single alignment. The microscopic capillaries are interwoven and intertwined, forming a vast network inside the body. An average human adult has more than 300 million blood vessels. They're called capillaries because their diameter are only 8 to 10 micrometers. This type of heat is generated by the veins. Veins are the blue vessels that we can see exposed underneath our skin. The volume of blood contained in veins is surprising. 70% of the blood in our body is contained within our veins. But there is more to veins than this. Arteries are like our lifeline. Most arteries lie deep within the body. However, we can feel the blood flowing through them in our necks and wrists. This is the pulse. This is especially obvious after strenuous exercise. The heart is the central pump for the entire circulatory system. Arteries and veins are the channels whereby blood is pumped, delivered and circulated. When the heart contracts during ventricular systole, it pumps blood into the arteries, which then distribute it around the body. When the heart relaxes, blood flows back into the heart by the veins. The heart's rhythm and contraction and relaxation of the blood vessels are the powerhouse of the circulatory system. The organs inside the human body are like fruits, while the vessels are the means to deliver nutrients to these organs. Arteries deliver nutrients to our bodies, but a faulty can also be the cause of death. A vast array of cardiovascular diseases can cause serious harm. A blocked artery is all it takes to deprive us of life. Gu Yong Chan is trying very hard to stop this ghastly killer by using cutting edge technology. 
This vascular intervention technique is now routinely used in the clinical diagnosis and treatment of various diseases. Using a combination of contrast medium and x-ray, Gu discovers an arterial lesion. Intervascular ultrasound also allows us to detect any irregularities in the arterial walls, which may indicate hyperplasia. After removing the residue from the arteries, Gu uses a stent and lifts the artery. At that precise moment, we see blood flowing through the veins. The ultrasound also shows clearly that the inner wall of the vein has been cleared. Dr. Gu has practiced medicine for many years and saved the lives of many. Surgery, however, inevitably changes the patient's life forever. Is it possible to detect and diagnose a cardiovascular disease before surgery becomes necessary? Wang Hong Yu hopes this can be achieved through vascular health management. Even when we are diagnosed with vascular disease, cutting-edge technology can now save us from what used to be an imminent death. By the end of this journey, hopefully, we will have a different perspective on the blood vessels our precious lives depend on. Many people are unaware that the condition of our arteries change as we get older. Research now confirms that we need to alter our approach to vascular health management as we get older. A healthy person rarely gets a vascular health check because it can be damaging. Even though it's an effective method of detecting abnormalities in our blood vessels, computed tomography and geography can cause other problems. It's not a risk-free technique. However, magnetic resonance imaging and computed tomography examinations are non-invasive ways of monitoring vascular health. The drawback with these is that they are expensive. A healthy person is going to be reluctant to pay for examinations like these. Arterial function can be assessed by measuring the elasticity of the blood vessels. They correlate the width of the vessels with blood flow and density and calculate a score that gives an indication of overall vascular health. This score reveals the vessel's state of health, as well as their apparent age. Your body's 五十岁，那么显然他是一个早期血管病的这样一个病人的个体。The inner walls of arteries are lined with multiple layers of elastic and muscular fiber, hence the name elastic arteries. 
Wang considers an elastic artery to be a young artery. But what gives arteries this elasticity? It has recently been attributed to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is known by scientists as the most attractive molecule. Nitric oxide is synthesized in the arterial walls and allows the vessels to become more elastic and keep them in good health. But how can we increase nitric oxide production? Joy and happiness is like the stream that sustains our life. Such positive feelings do increase the production of nitric oxide in our blood vessels. The feeling of being in love too has this effect. But in the real world, people cannot always enjoy positive feelings like this. People's feelings go up and down. Likewise, so do the levels of nitric oxide. There seems almost no way of keeping them constant. Furthermore, the vascular system also deposits significant quantities of molecules into the endothelial wall, provoking vasoconstriction and thus loss of function of the vessels affected. Losing control of our emotions may also cause an increase in vasoconstricting molecules, which can then damage our vascular health. We are in the so it seems that our emotions have a big impact on the level of nitric oxide in our body. In turn, this has a direct effect on the elasticity and age of our vascular system. This mysterious molecule, nitric oxide, forms and dissipates within seconds. What exactly is this molecule? The answer may come as a disappointment. Nitric oxide is so small that it cannot be seen by the naked eye. When it is formed in the endothelial layers, it exists for a mere five seconds and then disappears. Advances in science allow us to come closer to an understanding of this molecule. All we need is to place the tip of our finger in a scanner and let the waves stimulate production of nitric oxide in the endothelial layer of our blood vessels. Because an increased level of nitric oxide has a direct effect on vasodilation, we can use this method to test the elasticity of our blood vessels. Dilated vessels mean healthy vessels and vice versa. By this simple test, we can determine the state of our vascular health. Overeating, smoking, and drinking are habits that damage our vascular health. This is common knowledge. Sadly, though, this knowledge doesn't prevent many people from indulging in these damaging habits and pursuing unhealthy lifestyles. The reason is simple illness does not strike us immediately after we indulge in these excessive habits. Illness comes over time. The fat in our diet builds up. All those sleepless nights, smoking, and all the other bad habits over a long period of time are what causes the inner arterial walls to degenerate and eventually lose elasticity. This is a smoke particle that has been magnified by a thousand times. This particle invades our blood vessels. 
It is made up of a complicated array of molecules, including hundreds of atmospheric particles. When this smoke particle enters our body, it depletes our body of nutrients. It is even capable of entering our circulatory system and be the cause of blood clots. Once the vessels become hardened, another life-threatening problem arises. The damaged endothelium no longer protects the underlying layers of the blood vessels. An increased amount of blood cholesterol can then accumulate in the damaged areas and may, over time, result in a clot forming. But this still isn't the most dangerous part of the story. What is scarier is when this clot detaches itself from the arterial wall and circulates through the blood as a foreign body. Once this clot travels to the heart or the brain, it can cause death. When the clot reaches the heart, a myocardial infarction, or commonly known as heart attack, takes place. When it travels to the brain, a cerebral infarction, or stroke, occurs. Even though we know that smokers have a higher chance of developing hardened vessels compared to non-smokers, and that gluttony increases our chance of developing cardiovascular diseases, until we are struck by illness, we never seem to believe that it can happen to us. And so most of us continue to live under a delusion that sickness is a phenomenon that happens to others, not us. If we were willing to change and live a more disciplined lifestyle, cardiovascular diseases could be prevented. But we don't always take this reality on board. Kwon Tao, a software engineer who lives in the city, he has been diagnosed with a cardiovascular disease, yet he has always lived a disciplined, healthy lifestyle. So how is it possible that he has been afflicted by a disease that, in theory, should only strike those who live a lifestyle of excess? In the same way, Liu Lin, who appears healthy, suddenly fainted one day. The doctor's diagnosis was that the cause of her loss of balance was her impaired vascular system. What exactly happened in Wen Tao and Liu Lin's vessels? The human body is intriguing. When you least expect it, things can suddenly happen that change our lives forever. What other discoveries have medical experts and researchers made that can help us better control our fate? How is it possible for a person who has always lived a healthy lifestyle to suffer from cardiovascular disease, when in theory it should only strike those who have lived a life of excess? Please join us for the next part of Healthy Vessels, Healthy Heart.